Hi, my name is Melinda Calway, and today I'm going to be working on this painting of a pathway into the woods. I'm starting off with very light uh, undercoating or underpainting first, and building up my color from light to dark, which in watercolor is the way that we we go. And if anything I want light, I have to save it. I can't paint white over it afterwards. I can, but it doesn't really look as nice as if you leave the white or the light of the paper coming through. Now I'm building up the color gradually and as one coat dries I'm putting on another one slightly darker each time. I'm also doing a little spattering here and there. I like the spattering because it adds some randomness and some interest to the painting. And I put in some different blues and greens and uh, different ochres and yellows to make the trees back there and the leaves foliage a little bit more interesting. I'm bringing in some dark colors now to the shadows in the foreground on the path and also the rocks and, and hillside on either side of it. You'll notice that as I build up the dark, it makes the light of the pathway have more contrast and look a little bit more powerful. The rocks on the left, I've got some dark green on there to make it look like there's moss happening. And now I'm mixing up some colors to put onto the tree trunks and I'm, I'm painting the tree trunks in mostly dark but it's occasionally you'll see me use a, a different brush with a longer handle and it's an acrylic brush and what I'm doing when I use that brush is I'm lifting off color as I'm doing right now and uh, having a little bit of variety so some of the trees in the background are a little bit lighter in value than the dark ones happening. If you'll notice I also have some violet happening in the throughout the whole painting. Um, again, add a little bit of interest, a little bit of warmth and color that I so like to have in my pictures. I don't like everything to be um, dark and drab. I, I, I like to throw a little bit of uh, violet or red in my paintings. Uh, as I'm mixing up some more color, I'm putting in some branches going across from side to side now and a little bit of yellow down at the base of where the path leads into the woods. So I'm going to be doing some finishing up touches now. If you want to see any more of my videos, check out my YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and uh, type in Melinda Calway, and you can see some other videos that I've done. Some are quick like this, uh, hyperlapse, and some are slower that you can paint along to if you like. Uh, so you can check out my website. It's melindacalway.ca. And uh, feel free to comment and like this picture so that I know uh, what you think of it. I'm going to just finish up some touches now and then I will be signing my name and as I sign my name I put a piece of tape down to keep it nice and straight so that I can uh, uh, keep my name straight and not at an angle. The spattering at the bottom is to give the impression that there are some dried up leaves on the pathway and uh, I quite like the spattering effect. I find it helps unify the whole picture too. Um, as well as when I paint the whole picture at the same time, putting the underpainting on first, that helps to unify the picture as well. So I'm signing my name on, taking the tape off, and then I'll be finished. Thank you very much. Always doing a